What's up guys, I'm back with another video editing tutorial, and in today's video, I'll be showcasing a quick and easy visual effect that you can use for your future music videos. I see a lot of people, including myself, who like to add 3D objects and models within their music videos, and a lot of editors who struggle with finding certain models don't know that you can practically make your own 3D object using simply a PNG image of anything you'd like. So I would appreciate it if you guys can leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's jump right into this tutorial. So as we enter our composition, my composition is 1920 by 1080. I'm going to click and drag my two logos that I have here, which is the Supreme logo and the Chrome Hearts logo. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to turn these 2D images into a 3D object. I know you guys see the music videos where rappers are saying certain things and the editors are adding a 3D version of it in the video. Looks amazing, looks cool, but sometimes you can't find those models with what they're saying. I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own. So here I have this Chrome Hearts logo right here. So now what we got to do is click this Chrome Hearts logo right here. After we click this, we're going to want to go into layer, go all the way down to auto trace. Now, before you do this, make sure your logo is a PNG and there's not much connecting to anything. Make sure like there's no colors inside of certain objects that are PNG because it will mess up and just create a big blob within the 3D model. Auto trace. Now we can keep this default. You don't really gotta mess with anything. Hit okay. After it's auto trace, it'll take every part of your image and create its own mass layer to it. Now what we're gonna do now is right click new solid layer. Make sure you guys have element 3D. Obviously you need this because that's how you make it turn 3d we can hide this chrome hearts layer right here go to custom layers text and max path layer one change this to chrome hearts go into scene setup and now all you simply got to do now is hit extrude and there you go you have your 3d chrome hearts logo now let's make it a little cooler increase the extrusion on the bevel see it's extruded right here now if we want to add materials we can go to our material section you can you know turn this into chrome you know chrome hearts with the chrome material <laughs> And now if we just roll transform and scale this down, here you have the Chrome Hearts logo in a 3D object. If you do have a title card you potentially want to make, so here, it's just an example, I have the Supreme text. So if I don't have a certain font that I want, I can make that in you know, Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. If I save that as an image, bring it into Adobe After Effects. Now what we can do is do the same process. We auto trace the layer and it'll auto trace our text. Make a new solid layer, 3D, and we do the same process path one to supreme logo and now we have the text that we made in a different software 3 dified in element 3d and obviously we can simply just increase the bevel and if we actually wanted to make the supreme logo have the box we can hit create import this box model that's defaulted in element and just make it to a rectangle a little bit bigger like that taller here to our physical materials we're going to change this from plastic white to red and we can maybe make this text a little bit smaller just like that we have a 3d version of the supreme logo simply just being made from a 2d image imported into element 3d and now obviously we can resize this and you know move it around as if it's a 3d well you know move it around because of it it's very cool obviously you can apply this to your music videos as you see i'm showing you different previews of what i've done and other editors what they've done it looks very cool and it's a very cool technique to know so yeah hopefully you guys use this learn something new today subscribe if you guys are new leave a like on this video and comment what you want to see next i'll see you in the next video peace out